okay so the moment y'all have been waiting for how i flexi brought my hair so this don't mind my background child it's a mess in here okay i'm in the middle of cleaning up my closet and i just want to look pretty tomorrow so i'm doing my hair anyways okay so i basically just blow dry my hair out um let me brush it out a little bit all right so i blow dry my hair and usually i blow it out real real real, real good and also usually i only i blow dry my hair after my hair is basically like 100 percent dry but i'm kind of in a rush okay because i'm trying to go to bed so because i need to wake up early so i actually blow dry my hair while i was still damp which i never do um and then to get it to be like a little bit more flatter i took my flat iron and i put it on like a super low setting and i made sure i like got my roots or whatever and then i went down by each piece like super duper quick like that oh this one's still hot well i got a super flat piece right there but um yeah i just made sure to get my roots because the last time i did this on just blow dried hair it ain't really look all that good so um well it was my roots that were the problem so that's why i'm just trying to like tap my roots with the flat iron and then go super duper quick down the shaft of the hair so barely even any heat on the shaft of the hair that's why it's still poofy and it literally looks blow dried okay so boom step one get you some flexi rods now i got these years ago probably i don't even know i got them so long ago that i don't even know where they're from but i'm pretty sure you can find flexi rods at the beauty supply store any hood beauty supply store got flexi rods for probably like a dollar so go get them again i don't put nothing in my hair y'all okay so i don't know if that's the right thing to do with flexi rods but i don't put anything in my hair i know some people who do but i don't so this is how big my section is I don't know if I can see that, but I use my biggest flexi rod at the uh, back part, and then I use my smallest ones towards the front. And I also don't know like the right way to lock in flexi rods, but I just bend it until like the see my ends be coming out. Like I really don't know what I'm doing, but it be happening sometimes. <laughs> so just kind of go with it, but. I'll just take it out try again but yeah i need to take pictures for my vlogmas intro because i at first wanted somebody to make it for me but then i was like girl you could do it yourself and you're also running out of time so you don't have time to rely on anybody else right now so just try to you know make it do what it do by yourself because one thing about me baby i'm gonna always finesse so, hopefully it comes out good. And then I just put a bonnet on it like I don't do anything crazy um I don't put product on it just because the first time I did it I forgot to put product on it I was just doing flexi rods like girl I didn't I wasn't I don't overthink you know when I do my hair I just do it and see what happens so like I didn't put any product in it and it came out nice so I feel like I don't need any product so that's just how my brain works so yeah i'm gonna go to bed and then i'll wake up in the morning and let y'all know how everything turned out y'all i'm so tired and then i feel like i'm being so dry on camera but y'all i'm girl i'm so out of it right now okay so just woke up my hair is still in the flexi rods i took my bonnet off already and your girl got her coffee okay Ooh, little juice little energy juice and now i'm about to do my makeup and get ready because i need to film a intro and outro for this video i need to edit that video and then after i'm done editing the video i need to send it to the brand to get approved and then i need to take pictures i need three photos and then a photo of dallas 
I'm stressed already. And then I need to head to Target because I ordered some stuff to go pick it up because who wanted me walking around Target all day? Not me. I will end up spending my life savings. So I just order things online to pick it up just so that it's a lot quicker. And yeah, so let's get into the makeup. All right, about to take out my flexi rods and let's see what we're working with. Hopefully, it turns out good. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah, my battery is dying already. Like what? Okay, y'all, we back. So, this is how it looks. I'm gonna take some of this oil and put it in my hands. My hair feels kind of nasty, to be honest. Like, I don't know. Ooh, that's a lot. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna just run it kind of like down each one i still have a little bit on my hands so i'm gonna start separating some of them um especially this top one because girl it's a little chunky so i'll just do it like that and then i just kind of like re curl it with my oh okay that one didn't really do a good job but This is not turning out how I wanted it to, but it's kind of okay, I guess. I liked it way better when I did it um, on straightened hair. Like, that was this picture right here. Um, it just looks so good. And then I just, ugh, I don't want to straighten my hair, though, for me to continue to get that look. So I was like, let me just try it on blow-dry hair. And it's really not hitting the way it did when it was straightened, so... I don't know y'all but I'm gonna try to make it work so here is the finished look um it's not really finished to me because I like mine when it kind of drops a little bit so I'm gonna go like set up the camera and like find something to wear lord Jesus and then um by that time honestly I feel like it'll kind of drop a little bit and it'll be what I want it to be because it just looks real fresh curly sewage to me and I like to drop just a little bit so I'm gonna go do that and I'm gonna try to fix this little I don't like how this is like looking like this so i'm gonna try to fix that and then yeah that's how your girl uh flexi rods her hair y'all been dragging me y'all been asking me y'all been blowing my dms up asking me to show y'all so here you go girl i just want to get like pictures of me like you know looking all cute or whatever and then dallas walks over and you know then we start posing together or whatever Day. Okay, here come the monster, y'all. Stay. All right, start taking them. Come here. Take, take them. <laughs> take them. Hi, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're doing a lot. Oh my God, are you serious? Dallas, for real? Okay, hand me, uh, come here Dallas. <laughs> take, 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 take. Hey y'all, good morning. So today is a full day, number one. I'ma just throw that out there, girl. I'm a little stressed. But half of the day is work and then half of the day is play. So your girl is kind of hype. It's Friday. So yeah, girl, we're we going to have a little fun today. Um, So I have to pack some orders and then I have to, ooh, what I got to do? Oh, and then I need to get my clothes ready because I'm meeting up with my sister. And girl, we kicking it like old time. Y'all know my sister used to take all my pictures. But um, ever since she got a job, um, well, she always had a job. I'm not going to say it like that. But she got a promotion. So, yeah, she got a promotion. So, my girl is manager, I believe. Ooh, girl, like, they knew what they was doing, okay? So, yeah, she is now the manager. So, she, um, her hours are just, like, totally 
different totally crammed she hasn't been able to take my pictures in a long time like the last time we linked up uh we took i think like three pictures and we was like whoa we so worn out like we ain't done this in a while what's going on but today we're going to try again i'm not going to bring that many items because i actually do just want to hang out with her so i'm going to bring some items and then we'll probably get like grab something to eat and then um you know just talk chat live it up be sisters and stuff so yeah both of us are like hella busy so yes i rarely see my sister but that is to my girl you know what i'm saying so we're gonna link up like nothing never happened baby and we're gonna have a good day so um i'm excited to get some work out of the way because i have to take pictures for boohoo pretty little thing she in and label 42 so i got four at least four pictures to get um so yeah, I'm gonna bring more things, but you know, we'll see what actually makes it <laughs> before we get like tired and hungry. But yeah, after that, I'm linking up with my girls and we're going out to happy hour. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> We just got done taking pictures, about to go change, girl. We knocking these out. Are we back to our groove or like what? What's up? Yes. Let me put my uh, mask back on, hold on. Yes. Hold on. Vlog coming. <laughs> okay. I actually had the little N95 masks, which are so much better for like wearing lip gloss and stuff because it's like bigger, it comes out like that. But I have a panic attack when I wear those. Cause I feel like I can't breathe. Like I literally feel like I'm suffocating. I feel like I'm really breathing in some shit. I'm really not supposed to be breathing in. All right, so we just got finished taking a couple pictures. We're still taking some more. As you can see, it's a mess back there. Um, but we are hungry, so. My backup camera do not play. Okay, so yeah, we gonna find maybe like some fries or something real quick, just to put something on our stomachs. And then we gonna keep taking pictures. Oh shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Come on now. Did you get like a large fry you wanna split? Yes, sir. Okay. Fries. Yeah. I'm 
think we're gonna park right here because I really don't want to just sit there in my car because there's just guys standing there and honestly like I'd be so over just guys coming up to your car trying to talk to you so I'd be just trying to park out of the way I'm about to cuss child I'd be trying to park out the way so I don't gotta deal with none of that BS so yeah today was a good day for my store i'm actually really really excited yes and this picture is doing well too y'all today is just amazing and i just love when i link up with my sister because she's just like a just a i don't even know like a fresh a breath of fresh air basically especially for ooh, the type pictures right here um especially for just like even creating content like she just gives me great feedback she just wants to you know see me win you know what i'm saying she literally tells everybody about my channel and about you know my instagram and stuff like that and i'm just like girl every time i link up with her it's just a great vibe but yeah i'm having a good day and i just hope you guys are having a good day too and if you're not having a good day girl get up and try to have a good day every time i try to get up and have a good day when i'm having a bad day Sometimes it's really freaking hard, but sometimes like if you really just try to get up, you'd be like at the end of the day, you just be like, mm, I really did that. Like I really forced myself to have a pretty good, a good day. And it turned out, well, it ended pretty well. Like, you know, so. All right, y'all, this is the last location. And if you remember, we actually shot here before in my, this is like a long time ago when I filmed the how I take my Instagram pictures. So we are back girl and Hopefully I get some fire pictures. But look at these columns. Hey girls. <laughs> and why is it so dark? Yeah. Look at these columns. Like we about to hit it off, girl. Okay. So I need to change my shoes real quick. so i just got to dc well i was already in dc what i'm talking about i just got to like over by where the happy hour is it's closer to like downtown and stuff and like where all the clubs are well dupont um so yeah i'm just waiting on my friends because i finished up early and they said 5 30 so i've been done so i pretty much like took my sister home and was just like chilling like just taking my sweet old time getting here so it's like it's 4 56 waiting on my friends and then we're gonna go low-key i actually drove past the um what's funny is i drove past the uh there's this guy like cleaning the street back in the car and actually the guy that was um sweeping the street he actually left the ticket on my car so i really didn't think he was gonna remember or i mean i didn't know how long he was gonna be on the street he just like cleans the street off um oh shit so he said he was like gonna put it on my car if he saw it finally print from the little parking thing um because it was just taking forever for whatever reason and he was telling me like the the parking meters are like broken well sometimes they're broken like sometimes they don't work so he was like if they if it prints then he'll just stick it on my car for me but usually they don't really take it on the street because he cleans it all the time so yeah um he actually put it on my car which i thought was crazy so yeah shout out to you if you're watching i know you're not watching but shout out to you the food was so good it was called bar and lounge 54 and they just launched their happy hour so go get you some i think the drinks were only five dollars and the pho there is so good like y'all i cannot stress enough that's probably one of the best pho's i've had okay so my makeup is done i haven't put on my um 
like lip gloss or anything yet but i'm about to be filming right here i'm gonna be filming a haul you guys know this is the little setup or whatever so before i like know i'm gonna be filming a bunch of content that day i always make sure to charge my microphones i charge all of my batteries like all of them okay just so there's no problems there's nothing really like stopping me or making me wait or anything i just have everything charged ready to go if i need to switch a battery i can switch it and all the other batteries are charged so i can just pick either one to plug it in the camera and keep going so this one actually goes on the bed and extension cords are also your best friend so grab you a couple extension cords okay so here's my lighting situation i have one right here that's really really tall that kind of lights the top this right here lights the middle and then this one over here it lights kind of the bottom of me so every single piece of where the setup is is nicely lit basically just out the way and yeah this is what it will look like i'm gonna move the trash i need to take the trash out i need to take a picture with the bag so that's why i saved them so i always have this hanger in the back of like the roll of clothes because my microphone actually clips to this i used to hang it from i can't do this with one hand hold on so yeah i turn the air off because it's really loud and then i just basically start i'm gonna show you guys how i take my thumbnails really quick um i also wear something from the haul so i gotta pick something i'll probably wear this and maybe like some sweatpants or something or or maybe these leather pants are cute okay we changed into some of the clothes y'all know i always start my hauls off with wearing something from the haul so yeah i link the haul so you guys can you know get you some pieces if you like the pieces that i'm wearing um but let me show y'all some essentials so this thing right here is actually a little adapter for my mac and i have i don't know which macbook this is it's not that old though because i got it probably like two years ago or something like that i don't know which one this is to be honest but it is a macbook pro and it is a 15 inch this is the one with these things on both sides so you don't need this one this one is the most expensive one but i figured i really needed these i wanted a macbook pro i didn't want a macbook air and i got a lot of storage too but i also have a hard drive let me show you guys my hard drive this is my hard drive that i use this is i think one terabyte it's by the brand wd or files from like a really big camera like a dslr girl you are going to need some storage on you okay so i highly recommend a um what is this called i just said it a hard drive that way you don't have to get as much storage on your computer because I was actually going to get a lot more storage on this computer making it like $5,000 when I could just get a hard drive and then lower the price of the computer. So I store most of my files on here and then I just plug it into my computer and then I work. I edit all my like clips and stuff in Final Cut Pro straight off of here. So it's not on my computer. It's on my computer via this, if that makes any sense. I use my laptop as a viewfinder for my camera just to make everything way bigger because I am all the way back here. So I can't really see the little screen on my camera. So I just, I have this cord. This cord right here, I'm gonna show y'all where it goes in a second, but I pretty much just plug it in. Where is it? Here plug it in there i cut my ring light off so you can see i do have the canon t6i i do want to upgrade but this camera is actually not that bad um i can't remember how much it was but yeah so this actually goes to my microphone i don't remember the name of my mic but i'll list it on the screen somewhere and then there's a little cord here and it just plugs in here i got this from amazon when i got the computer oh my god my nail chipped Anyways, I got this from Amazon when I got the computer. It's by the brand Pergo, really good actually. And when I turn my camera on, and you can see the EOS Rebel T6i. So the EOS Utility is the app that you install to, you know, download images from your um, camera to your computer, which is right here. But right now we're going into remote shooting and I'm just gonna press live view shoot. And as you can see, you see exactly my haul setup. So I just step out of the way, as you can see my big old head is in the way, but I step out of the way and I get everything in frame that I want in frame and then I just leave it there and then I start filming. This is why I want a bigger place, like I just want 
really I just want a second bedroom that I can leave my stuff set up because setting up really takes a long time and I feel you y'all like I know not everybody has like an extra bedroom to you know have as a filming room so hopefully this helps you guys like you do have to take your setup up and down up and down um like you do have to move your furniture around to be able to accommodate certain things like y'all know I put this plant that plant right there that plant goes everywhere up in this room like it's just all over the place so you gotta make it do what it do until you are able to do what you really want to do all right so this is where it gets a little I guess tricky because I save all my bags and I usually take pictures with all of the um like bags that it comes in so you guys know what she in i take pictures of the big old boxes that i be getting well with boo they sent me multiple bags so i have three in here i think so i'm gonna have to stuff them and act like these these clothes are in here or i could just take the clothes out and put them in the bags and then just hang it back up that's a lot of work but i probably would have to do that all right so now i'm gonna just press record and i'm going to kind of just like pause in the video so i'll just go like this and hold the bags or something like that so when I go, I, and I'll do different poses and stuff, and then I'll go back into the video, and then I'll pause it and then screenshot it so that it makes it a picture. Okay, so if you don't have like a clicker or anything, this is perfect. Oh my god, I was so in the zone that I forgot to come and show y'all how I make my thumbnails. Okay, so remember how I showed y'all I just pause really quick while I'm recording and then I will just screenshot um, like that to make it a photo. Well, for this, I didn't really have any like big packaging or anything to show y'all. When I tried on each thing, I just paused briefly and like pose and stuff while I was filming. This is what I do. I just upload all of the screenshots into Canva over here. Yes, I use Canva and I have Canva Pro. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you probably won't be able to do this. So I'm gonna just click one, it'll pop up right here. And then I just go ahead and crop it really quick. You can um, do the little background removal before you crop it, but I like to crop it first. I go to effects and then I click background remover and then you'll see it's like trying to just remove the background some of them take longer because like if i'm wearing white on a white background it'll take longer and then i just basically make it bigger so that it fits to the size i want it to fit actually this one is a little iffy like around this area so before canva actually didn't have this little erase and restore brush so i'm just going to click this i'm going to Take the brush down some and i'm just going to go in here and just erase what is not supposed to be here and then you just press done and to put it behind it you can press position and then you can do forward or backward so now it is behind that one and it's really just showing the pants and then i'm gonna put one more right here which will be this dress all right so this is the finished look and i'm just going to download this and then i'm going to plug it into youtube Okay, so before I set up to take pictures for the store, I'm actually glad I hung everything up so that I can just pick from there while I shoot. So, I got some new lights and I want the quality of these pictures to be phenomenal since I'm not shooting outside anymore. I don't want to do that. I didn't, I liked the look at first, but it just kind of got, I kind of got over it. And then also, the last time I went to go shoot, it was freezing that day. Um, so that clearly did not work and it's not going to work for too much longer so i got to figure out something um you know for in the house but this is a lounge collection so i was like that's perfect i can shoot it in the house i can figure out a certain type of setup so i thought about it in my mind and i think i got my setup but i needed some more lights because while my lights are 100 percent you know nice and all of that the more light you have the better it will look so i did get some new lights from newer and you guys know all of my lights are from newer and they sell on amazon so they're super affordable i got these ones these are kind of smaller but they will kind of help just with um more light i don't need any like super big lights once i upgrade i want to definitely go for you know like the really big professional ones but those are like thousands of dollars newer is super affordable to me the highest thing i've seen from newer is like 200 dollars, and that is so cheap compared to those professional lights that all the like beauty youtubers use and all that type of stuff i think my ring light was only 
it was like around two hundred dollars and it's a really good ring light these are like much smaller than any of my other lights but i actually really like these like they just kind of fill in certain spots that you want to fill in and they do have they come with these little filters and then they do come with a like stand so i'm gonna open this so yeah it has a pretty sturdy stand and then the top is adjustable and then you just screw this onto here and then boom it's a light with a light stand so here's kind of how it looks it's really really small and compact which i like and it is by newer the cn160 y'all look how tall this goes <laughs> literally all the way to the ceiling basically so this is definitely tall enough for what i need it for i really need some overhead light why is it zoomed in back up thank you guys so much for spending a day with me i know my day is like literally so crazy i filmed two videos i took site pictures i just did a whole bunch of things i even went to a seminar today girl like i did a lot um and it literally took up my entire day and i feel good because i was very 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 productive and very progressive as far as my schedule goes like girl this schedule is insane over here so hopefully you guys like this video i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one